So this session is related to asset based equilibrium MCQs multiple choice question will do question related to the topic as in the last session we completed the topic so first we'll do the multiple choice and later we will do the structure questions question number one the dissociation of a methanoic acid in aqueous uh, solution is endothermic so when methanoic acid dissociate methanoic acid is hcoh so as it dissociate it will dissociate into h plus and COO HCO negative one uh, when a sample of aqueous methanoic acid is warm so the reaction is endothermic endothermic reaction um, if we increase the temperature equilibrium will shift towards the right hand side so as the equilibrium will shift towards the right hand side what will happen to amount of hydrogen ion the amount of hydrogen ion will increase and we know pH is equals to minus log of hydrogen ion so if amount of hydrogen ion increase the pH of the solution will decrease so what will be the right answer a will be the right answer why not b because pH does not change that strong uh, why it is wrong as the amount the concentration of hydrogen ion changes the pH will also change then the concentration of undissociated HCOH will increase so the concentration of undissociated HCO will not increase it will decrease as the forward reaction is endothermic it will favor the right hand side the concentration of methanoid ion decrease the concentration of methanoid ion will not decrease it will increase is it clear yes sir the next question which solution has the highest ph first thing uh, because we when we have a uh, strong base um, both sodium hydroxide and uh, aqueous ammonia are base but aqueous ammonia is a weak base whereas sodium hydroxide is a strong base and the ph and hydroxide ion concentration are directly proportional if we increase the hydrogen ion concentration the ph will so be increase so b is the right answer because strong acid is strong alkali is ionized completely as they ionize completely the amount of oh ion will be more and you can see the solution b is having a higher concentration that's why it will have the highest ph then an indicator which is having a range of 3.8 to 5.8 is suitable for titration so indicator for a range of 3.8 to 5.8 like this is a vertical portion so when we check the vertical portions i will show you uh, that part of the vertical portion that so that you will understand that how to select the type of indicator you have to learn that uh, range for titration curves so this, these are the titration curves so if we are using a strong acid and strong base a vertical is from 3 to 9 okay that strong acid strong base but if you are using a weak acid and strong base the vertical is from 7 to 9 the vertical part if you are using strong acid and weak base the vertical portion is from 4 to 7 and so 3 1 is if you are using strong acid and weak base 4 to 7 if you are using strong base weak acid then it will be 7 to 9 so if you remember the question the order which they provide here so this is nitric acid nitric acid is a strong acid and this is a weak base so strong acid and weak base what will be the vertical portion just now we discussed 
so it will be from uh, 4 to 7 so vertical portion is from 4 to 7 when we check ethanoic acid it is a weak acid and strong base or alkali the vertical portion is from 7 to 9 where the indicator ethanoic acid and there is no vertical portion sodium thiosulfate and iodine there is no acid base reaction this is like a redox reaction but not an acid base so we are left with e, option a or b so we have the indicator which can show a color change from 3 to 5.4 so if the indicator can show a color from 3 to 5.4 this is a range of the indicator so a so in that case nitric acid and ammonia is it clear So A is the right answer. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Then different titration curves are there. The titration curves, uh, like titration is carried out for aqua solution uh, with concentration one mole per dm cube. So the curves are shown which curve obtained when hydrochloric acid and aqueous ammonia so hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and aqueous ammonia is a weak base so strong acid so it will vertical portion is from 4 to 7 so which graph having a vertical portion from 4 to 7 when we check the options four to seven around because it's a strong acid and weak base so weak base when we check the vertical portion first thing because it's a weak base so weak base can have a ph around 12 and strong acid so strong acid will have a ph around 1 1 or 2 so it means this either this if the starting point is 1 the final point should be 12 if the starting point is 12 the final point should be 1 so why b cannot be an answer b is starting around 2 but ending at 14 so that's why it is wrong well, again c is wrong because starting from 14 so c is actually for strong acid and strong base and when we check d the option d when we are checking so it is starting from ph 0 so practically we don't have a solution with pH 0. Theoretically, yes, there is a solution of pH 0. Practically, you don't have a solution of pH 0. So, it will not start from 0. So, you, you have only two options left. Either A will be there or D. And see this vertical. So, why this is not the right? Because it shows starting from 0. My pH 1 or 2 is acceptable. So, A is the correct answer when we are reacting hydrochloric acid with a weak base or aqueous ammonia. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, A is weak, weak base, strong acid. This is when uh, acid is there, uh, weak acid, strong base. This is when strong acid, strong base. And this is when strong acid and weak base. But practically, like... It cannot start with zero. It should start with certain value of the pH. Then um, which... And it says that HCl is added. So like it should be. Yeah, other way like around. First alkaline and then acid. Yeah, that's right. For which titration with methyl orange not be suitable? So methyl orange, we have to check the vertical, like using a data booklet. We have to check the methyl orange range. The data booklet is here. This will be given in exam, the data booklet. During this exam, they will give you this and once you finish, they will take this back. Indicator. What was the page number? 
normally they specify the page, page 19. So page 19. Data booklet page 14. So this is a data booklet page 19. We have methyl orange. And methyl orange is there. So methyl orange showing a color change. This is methyl yellow, methyl orange is there. The range is from 3.2 to 4.2. That's the range in which it shows a color change. So when we select a titration, the vertical portion should be from 3.2 to 4.2. So when we check this will 3.2 to 4.2 will be here. Uh, if would would methyl orange uh, like for which titration would the methyl orange not be suitable so for this titration it will be suitable because it is lying 3.2 to 4.2 it is in a vertical region but for this titration 3.2 to 4.2 that is not in a range like not in the vertical part here also 3.2 to 4.2 or here also like one even one of the values is out but the small proportion is in as well so that is on also in a vertical but for b the change when the indicator is showing a color change that does not lie in the vertical region and even like minimum and the maximum does not lie in the vertical region that's why for b it will will not be suitable is it clear yes sir Next question five, the reaction between concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is shown. The lori bronston acids are proton donors, bases are proton acceptors. So HNO3 become H2NO3. It means it accept proton. So we call that as a base. And H2SO4 turn into HSO4. What we call, we call that as acid because acids are proton donor so according to the bronston lori acid in this equilibria so which one is the acid they're asking about the acid so when we check the forward reaction h2so4 is acting like an acid and for reverse reaction when we check the reverse reaction So first it is H2NO3 turned into HNO3. So it means it is donating proton and acids are proton donors. So for reverse reaction, H2NO3 is acid. For the forward reaction, H2SO4 is an acid. So the option H2NO3 is acting like an acid and H2SO4 are acting like an acid. That's why D is the right answer. Is it clear? Because acids are proton donors and the bases are proton acceptors. Uh, in question six, the pH of three solutions with a concentration one mole. So ammonium chloride is there, ammonia is there, and ammonium chloride, uh, sodium ethanoid is there, and ammonia solution. We have to work out. The pH of uh, the solution in increasing pH. So, increasing pH. If we have ammonium chloride, 
first this nh3 is a weak base and weak base will have like when we say the order uh, salt can be acidic salt like salt can make a solution acidic salt can make solution alkaline or salts can make a solution neutral but it cannot be in uh, same order as a weak base so we have nh3 is a weak base and sodium hydro sodium hydroxide is not given now these are the salts sodium ethanoate and ammonium chloride are the salt but we have to check the nature of these salts so the solution one will have the highest ph this will have the highest ph even though it's a weak base but because others are the salt so the weak base will always have a higher ph than salt solutions so the first one like the solution which will have the highest and we need an increasing order so means it will end at one now ammonium chloride what ammonium chloride will dissociate into ammonium ion and chloride ion and this ammonium ion what is the tendency of this ammonium ion it can donate proton it can give out proton because extra proton is there so it can donate protons so if it can donate proton it means the amount of the hydrogen ion in the solution will increase so this salt solution will be acidic salt solution So ammonium chloride will be acidic salt solution. And what about CH3CONA? This, this CH3CONA, when it will dissociate, it will dissociate into CH3COO minus an Na plus. And then the CH3COO plus H2O, like water molecules are there. So it will accept proton from the water so when it will accept proton from the water CH3CO and it will result in a formation of OH ion. So amount of OH ion increase in the solution because of this molecule. So it will be alkaline salt. So we have to write in order uh, from uh, like increasing order. So from lower pH. So 3 to 1. 3 to 1. That's why B will be the right answer. So basically the salts which are formed by weak acid, they, they make the solution alkaline. The salts which are formed by strong acid, they make the salt. Uh, so the salts which are formed by weak base, they will make a solution acidic. Question 7, a buffer solution is there. A buffer solution means a solution which resists a change in pH when acid or alkali is added. So there's a buffer solution is 0.1 mole per dm cube with respect to ethanoic acid and 0.05 mole per dm cube with respect to sodium ethanoid. The dissociation constant of ethanoic acid is given. What is the pH of the buffer solution? How to get the pH? First, the dissociation constant of acid Like if you have CH3COOH, it will dissociate into CH3CO plus H plus. So when we write the dissociation constant Ka, it's product divided by reactant. So CH3CO, this is salt, the concentration of salt, concentration of hydrogen, and the concentration of acid. This because this CH3CO is how much salt is there that will be the same as concentration of so if we need hydrogen because to get the ph first we should know the hydrogen ion concentration so you can remember like i can write k is equals to concentration of the salt concentration of hydrogen ion divided by concentration of acid and if we need hydrogen ion so hydrogen ion concentration will be Ke multiplied by concentration of acid divided by the concentration of the salt. So we have Ke concentration of acid and salt. If we multiply, we'll get the hydrogen ions. So and then pH is equals to minus log of hydrogen ion concentration. So first we'll substitute these values to get the hydrogen ion. So hydrogen ion concentration is always a K multiplied by concentration of acid divided by salt. So K is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 5 multiplied by concentration of the acid is 0 0.1 as the mentioned 
and divided by concentration of salt which is 0.05 this will give you hydrogen ion concentration and after taking hydrogen ion concentration you will find the pH using a formula pH is equals to minus log of hydrogen ion so you will get as 4.47 is it clear then question 8 the equation for reaction between weak acid and sodium hydroxide is shown the pH of a solution of a salt most likely to be so weak acid and salt whenever weak acid react with strong because this is a weak acid and the salt is formed uh, by reaction so weak acid and strong base so the salt which is formed will be alkaline so which uh, a and b cannot be an answer because a is showing that it is acidic uh, B is showing that it is a neutral, but neutral salt cannot be formed by reaction of acid with alkali, uh, of weak acid and strong alkali. So these are the two alkaline. But as I mentioned that the salt solution cannot be same capability as like a weak acid, a weak alkali or weak acid. So it will be less than that. So this, this 13 shows that it will be alkaline, but it shows it will be strong alkaline. The salt solution but practically it's not possible like they don't have too many hydroxide ions so c is the right answer so whenever um, you and what if it was a strong acid and strong like acid strong, base? strong acid strong base it will be neutral salt and, and if it weak is base will be acidic weak weak base with strong acid acidic and if it's weak acid and weak base that also a neutral salt so the weak one has the effect strong one is having is fine like example weak acid strong base so the salt will be alkaline if weak right. acid okay. yeah and if it is strong acid weak base the salt will be acidic so the one which is stronger that that leads to the nature that decide the nature of the salt form In question 9, a very small amount of hydrochloric acid is added to a buffer. The change in pH is very small. What is the best explanation? How the buffer solution act or why the solution does not change the pH when hydrogen ions are added? The that would be D. Yeah, the ratio, the concentration does not change because basically what happened, as we know, H plus is equal to dissociation or constant of uh, acid then the concentration of acid divided by concentration of salt so this factor this ratio is not changing the ratio of the concentration of acid to conjugate base or salt is not changing that's why the ph won't change the d is the right answer Question 10, which of the following solution when mixed would make a buffer with a pH greater than 7? So we want a buffer solution. Buffer sol First thing, a buffer solution. There are two ways buffer solution can be formed. It can be a weak acid and salt. So the buffer solution which will be formed will have pH less than 7. Or it can be a weak base plus salt. It will be a buffer solution will have a pH more than seven so ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoid it will be a buffer but this buffer solution will have a ph less than seven sodium hydroxide and sodium chloride is not a buffer because buffer is only when weak acid and it's salt or weak alkali or it's salt ammonia with sodium chloride that's also wrong because it's ammonia is there but this is not the salt of ammonia that it should have a salt of that same like if it's a ammonia then it should be ammonium salt so ammonia plus ammonium chloride that will be a buffer solution and that buffer solution will have a ph more than seven so d will be the right answer question 11 
in acid solution methyl orange is red when alkali is added the solution turns yellow because the indicator so what happened to indicator why the indicator show a color change here because indicators as we discussed indicator indicators are always weak acids all indicators are weak acid so if we add acid to them and they dissociate into what this dissociate into h plus and i n minus so if we add acid or proton the equilibrium will shift toward the left hand side will get more molecule but if we add alkali means we add oh so oh will react with this h and amount of h will decrease so equilibrium will shift toward the right hand side so if we add as they mentioned when alkali is added means when oh is added so when we add this oh h will combine with oh so amount will decrease amount of hydrogen ion decrease or equilibrium will shift towards the right hand side so uh, indicator will lose its proton and it form an a positive ion or an ion uh, negative ion sorry not positive negative ion or an ion is it clear yes sir so indicators are weak acids that's why when we add an alkali the losers um, they react with h uh, the oh of alkali and amount of h decrease so dissociation of forward reaction increases an aqueous solution of ammonium chloride has a ph less than 7 because so why ammonium chloride is having a lower ph So when we have ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, this will dissociate into ammonium ion, NH4 ion and then Cl minus ion. And this ammonium ion, it will lose proton. So this will be H plus and NH3. And what happens when it will lose proton? This will donate proton to water molecule. So water molecule will take that proton and it will turn into h3 o plus charge so the ammonium ion donate proton to water and give rise to oxonium ion oxonium ion is h3o and how the existence of oxonium ion is proof because when we carry out electrolysis if there was no oxonium ion then the conduction or rate of conduction of the solution should be faster but practically because of the formation, uh, because oxonium ion is formed, so the solution does not conduct electricity at a faster rate as oxonium ion is having a greater mass. So it cannot, it's not mobile, it cannot move quickly. Question 13, which of the following indicator is the most suitable for titration of ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide so we have what we have weak acid and we have strong base so weak acid and strong base what is a vertical region it's very important so it is from seven to nine that's a vertical region so we want to select like we will check the using a data booklet we'll check the range for each indicator and then we will compare with this value so this is question 13 so what were the indicator one is thymol blue thymol blue acid thymol blue mm, is thymol blue yeah it, it, thymol blue as 1.2 to 2.8 so it is 1.2 to 2.8 so it's not suitable because there should be overlapping like the vertical portion where the reaction occur and the indicator one of the value should overlap both are over, there in the range that is suitable but one of the value should overlap bromo thymol blue when we check for bromo thymol blue um bromo thymol blue that's 6 to 7.6 
So it is from 6 to 7.6. When we check thymol blue base, thymol, thymol blue acid is there, and thymol blue base, 8 to 9.6. 8 to 9.6 and alizarin yellow R that is 10.1 to 13 so 10.1 to 13 so now check because weak acid have 7 to 9 so which one it matches it cannot be thymol blue it can be because one of the value is lying. It can be bromo uh, thymol blue. It can be thymol blue base 8 to 9.6. And it cannot be alizarin yellow because it's not does not lie in the range. So now which is the best, most suitable? Most suitable is the one in which the it lie on the vertical, like within the vertical region. So vertical region is from 7 to 9. So the indicator which is having this range from 7 to 9, that is c is it clear because from eight like greater part is there within the yes sir like, because from eight it will be from eight to nine and then from nine to nine point six because here like eight to nine point six this was there so only this is point six differ from the value and when you check this one it is from 6 to 7.6, only 0.6 is in the value. And this is about 1 is there in the range. This is only 0 0.6 is there within the range. So that's why we select for C. Then what is the conjugate base of HCO3? Conjugate, conjugate base, bases are proton acceptor. Like the substance which will react, accept proton from this. So if we have HCO3, the conjugate base of the acid. So this is acid. So what are acids? Acids are proton donor. So if we donate proton, what we are left with? We are left with CO. Because if this thing is acid, then acid is a proton. They are asking conjugate base of the acid. So this is acid. An acid or proton donor, so this is acid. Then this is a conjugate base. It will accept proton to form this acid back again. So B is the right answer. Then what is the approximate pH of a buffer solution containing 0.2 moles of weak acid and 0.2 moles of sodium salt? and the total volume of the solution is one. So concentration will be same as the moles. Practically we substitute the concentration, but because the volume is one, so it won't make difference to the concentration. Um, so concentration of acid, first we'll find the hydrogen ion concentration. And it's a buffer solution by weak acid and it's salt. So when we check, a cannot be an answer. We are left with B, C, and D. So hydrogen ion concentration will be dissociation constant. And that is the concentration of acid divided by concentration of the salt. K is given. Now in this question, they give PK. We can find the K because it's like taking anti-log. Or there's also a formula which can relate the pH with pK. You can learn that formula or you can take anti-log if you know the pK. So pK so is 10 to the power minus 4.8. Uh, yeah, 10, 10 to the power minus pK because we need K. Because pK is equals to minus log of K. If we need K, then it will be 10 to the power minus pK is equals to K. 
you can use that you have the concentrations so first find the hydrogen ion concentration or there's also another formula that if I take anti log both side if I take log both side so this will be log of hydrogen ion this will be log of Ka and because in when multiplied log, in logarithm we add them so this will be log of acid divided by salt then we sub multiply whole equation by negative so it will be minus log of hydrogen ion minus log of Ka and minus log of acid divided by salt so and minus log of hydrogen ion is pH so pH is equals to pK minus log of acid concentration divided by salt concentration so you can use this formula as well which is convenient to use so minus log of acid divided by salt pk is there which is 4.8 minus log of acid is how much uh, concentration well containing 0.2 of weak acid so 0.2 divided by uh, 0.2 so that is one so log one that is zero and because both have the same value 0 divided 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 so it's 1 log 1 is 0 4.8 minus 0 so we'll get as 4.8 is it clear question 15 yes sir so it's up to you like you can do the other way around you can first find the hydrogen ion concentration and then uh, use the value or you can learn this formula as well in question 16 when equimolar like same um, concentration moles of two solutions are mixed the buffer solution has a ph less than seven so it means it's a weak acid and it's salt so which one is a weak acid and it's salt so ethanoic acid is a weak acid and it's salt so this buffer solution will be b is arrived hydrochloric acid and that's wrong because strong acid does not form buffer sodium hydroxide and sodium chloride that's also wrong ammonia and a, that will be buffer but this buffer will have a pH more than 7. Question 17, the pH, the pH of 1.5 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid is, so how to work out, we, we know first the concentration, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so it will ionize completely. So the concentration of H will be same as concentration of HCl and uh, we'll use the formula pH is equals to minus log of hydrogen ion. So minus log of hydrogen ion that is 1.5. So what's the answer? So pH is minus log of hydrogen ion. When you substitute this value, so minus log of uh, 1.5. So 17, it will be minus 0.18 or B will be the right answer. The information about four samples are shown for acid. Which of the following lists of sample order of increasing pH? So when we check, like this is a strong acid. This is also a strong acid. This is also a strong acid. And this is a weak acid. So first thing, weak acid will have the higher pH. Uh, so what we are left with when we check, so four should have the highest pH. So either A will be answer or C will be answer. For question 18. Then even though HCl HCl is a strong acid, but H2SO4 because H2SO4 it produces two protons when it dissolves as compared to HCl. So H2SO4 will have the lowest pH because it give like one molecule of H2SO4 give two proton, whereas one molecule of HCl give only one proton. So it will have the lowest pH as it is having a greater amount. So 
then the second it will start with two so starting with two and ending at four so c will be the right answer so and we can also work out like the so sample one will is a high concentration than sample three so if the concentration of acid is more strong acid is more its ph will be lower so it will be two one three four is it clear yes sir Then question 19, a solution of a weak acid cannot be titrated with weak base to find the endpoint. Because, so what is the reason for that? Why for a weak acid and weak base titration is not possible? Because the pH change is too gradually close to equivalence point. Like we don't have a vertical part. The pH just instantly changes near the equivalence point once the acid reacted with an alkali. That's why it is difficult to say use an indicator like ph change is not a vertical the ph change is too gradual close to the equivalence point like at equivalence point equivalence point means when all of the acid is reacted with an alkali and that is a moment the solution is changing a ph so vertical portion is not there that's why we are not able to use a specific indicator And question 20, ethanoic acid is mixed with water. What are the bronston uh, lorry conjugate acid base pair? So if you want to work out the acid and the base pair. So CH3COH become CH3CO. So it is donating proton. It is acting like an acid. And conjugate base. So this will be base, conjugate base. And H2O is accepting protons. So H2O is acting like a base. And H3O positive is acting like an acid. So when we work out the pairs, because we need a pair. So if we say this is acid one, so what is the pair of this? This is a conjugate base. So if this is acid one, this will be base one. So acid one and base one. And if this is a base, right, because already we mentioned base one. So if this is a base two, then H3O will be acid two. That's why C is the right answer. So conjugate, like what is the meaning of acid one and base one? It means acid, which is having a conjugate base. And what is the meaning of acid base 2 and acid 2? The base which is having acid, a conjugate acid. So these are questions related to topic, the multiple choice question. Uh, next session, we'll do the structure questions.